This is Bob Flaherty, The Electric Principle, uh, and I'm here to talk about a very important issue when it comes to electric cars, and particularly Ionics, and that is the uh, Integrated Computer Control Unit, or better known as the ICCU. Uh, we have had some problems with that, uh, and that is quite evident. Uh, we've had a number of vehicles that have had to have this unit replaced. Uh, in the past, it would take months uh, to get a replacement unit in. Uh, the dealerships would have to give out a loaner car during that time. Uh, but now if one goes out, uh, the response is pretty instantaneous. There's no issue getting one in almost the next day uh, and getting these things in. But it is a problem. Uh, and to be quite frank, it's a problem that Hyundai should have handled long ago. Uh, they've done a number of software updates to fix this on the 25 and 26, as we'll explain in the next video. There have been some substantial changes uh, to how the entire car operates uh, that alleviates uh, many of these issues so far. Uh, and as Patrick tells you later on, we've, we've probably had two cars out of the 425s that have been sold uh, that have had an ICCU issue. Uh, but anyway, uh, wanted to get that out right out in front, uh, and, I, and I don't want to minimize this problem at all. Uh, well, you go online, uh, you'll see a ton of things on this. It looks like every person who's ever owned an Ionic uh, has had a problem with the ICCU. That, that is far from the truth. Uh, but it's a major problem, and Hyundai really needs to take care of this permanently uh, for, for present and past owners of Ionic 5s. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to introduce you to Patrick, and we're going to talk in detail about this, and then we're going to show you what it looks like when we actually replace one of these things, uh, the hour and a half process, uh, uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support. Hey, so I'm here with Patrick today. Uh, Patrick is the head mechanic at uh, Crossroads Hyundai in Loveland, Colorado. And uh, Patrick is also the head EV mechanic. And uh, basically, Patrick does at least 80% of all EVs. When, they, when, when we have an issue with an EV, it comes to Patrick. So he's the perfect guy who has been trained by Hyundai to talk a little bit about ICCUs and some of the issues we've had with them, because it's really the Achilles heel, Patrick, of, of this car. We don't have that many issues with these cars, except ICCU. We haven't even replaced that many batteries, right? I mean, if you look at the total number of batteries in four years you replaced, what would it be? Uh, I think total in the, this shop, it's 10, maybe. Yeah, so 10 batteries. Uh, and this, this dealership, I know for a fact, sells 300 to 400 Ionics per year. Last year it was crazy. We sold at least 400 uh, Ionic 5s that were 25. So a lot of experience in this little shop. Uh, so let's just talk about what is an ICCU, Patrick, and what does it do? So an ICCU is uh, the acronym for the Integrated Charge Control Unit charging control unit um, and essentially what it does is it regulates the amount of battery voltage and current going to the 12 volt battery um, coming in from your your level one two or three charger uh, into the high voltage battery it also does that same stuff for the amount of current and voltage going to the motors and coming back in from the motors when it's doing its regenerative braking. So all things drivetrain, it really, much, you know, yeah. basically it it controls mm -hmm. your charging, it controls energy going to the motors, it controls region, it controls everything. It is it is the kind of the EV brain. Yeah, uh, essentially. And uh, when an ICCU goes out, Patrick, what what issues does that immediately cause for the driver? And what issues can it cause long term? So obviously the first thing that's going to happen is the, the check EV light is going to come on. And most people will notice that. Um, you'll be able to drive the, you'll, you'll still be able to drive the car for a while um, until at least the 12 volt battery is low enough where it, the car starts freaking out and, and or dies. <laughs> yeah, because that 12 volt battery uh, runs almost everything else, right? I mean, basically, 
when you turn that car on, screens, um, door locks, it, it powers just about everything. Yeah, it powers on computers, screens, door locks, lights, uh, pretty much everything. That's why the ICCU is in charge of recharging that 12 volt battery. And you know, when, when we have, tw we've had 12 volt battery problems though, without necessarily it being caused by the ICCU though, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so that's another issue that we'll, we'll talk about in the next video. Um, and, and when you think of ICCU, I think of it intensive cardiac care unit, because I was in one for five days, <laughs> uh, uh, 15 years ago. Uh, and and it, you know just like the heart, you need an ICCU to operate properly. But again, so Patrick, you know how long does it take for you to replace an ICCU unit? So I've done enough of them now that it I've got it down to kind of a science where it takes me about an hour, hour and a half to do it to to, to get that done. And uh, we're going to show you some video here shortly of Patrick actually taking this out. And when he's done taking it out, we're gonna, we're gonna actually look at one and, and see what parts are there. And one of the things I've, I've learned uh, is that there's a, there's a major cooling system hooked up to this ICCU. Why, why is there a cooling system on this computer? So the reason, that, I mean, it's an electronic computer. All electronics get yeah. hot. So the, the best way to keep a, a, a computer cool is with liquid cooling. And you know, in the 22s, 23s, and 24s is where we've seen uh, a significant amount of ICCU uh, units going out. And so in this shop, Patrick, when you've got uh, the 22, 23, 24, maybe 1,200 of those cars are out right now. How many ICCUs have we replaced in the shop? Just, I know it's not the exact number, but I, I'm trying to give my viewers a sense of what proportion of these things actually go on cars? So, I have noticed that it's definitely more common in the colder months. Right. When we have to replace them. 22, 23? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so far, we, we've had 25s out for over a year now because those things dropped uh, on the sales floor in November of the previous year. And uh, so far, how many of the 25 ICCUs have we had to replace it within the last year? Two. Two, maybe two. All right, so, so the frequency has dropped dramatically. Yes, they've uh, definitely updated the software. And I, if I remember right, the 25s have a smaller ICCU that's more, I mean, the circuit boards are probably more robust. Right. But it also has a different cooling system. There's right, and a different cooling system. So, hey, that's our next video. We're gonna take a look at the 25s and, and 26. Uh, and I'm not trying to downplay ICCU problems, but on the newer cars, they don't seem to be a problem at this particular point. And on the older cars, uh, the number of that we've had is significant, but sometimes when you look at things online, it sounds like every single person who's ever owned an Ionic has had an ICCU problem. And that's just simply not the case. No. no. Uh, uh, and, you know, in the conclusion, we're going to talk a little bit about the warranty of that and how it's going to go. But at this point, we are going to let you get to, get to work, do surgery, uh, our best mechanic do the surgery. And uh, I'm going to kind of put that through fast motion so you can kind of see what that looks like. That hour and a half is going to be compressed. Uh, but I want you to see how much work Patrick does when he does this. It's not a simple little thing where it's where we just pull it out and put it in. I mean, there's you got to get to the thing first. Yep. And most of my viewers have never seen an ICCU, even if they had one replaced. So let's get down to business, Patrick. Thanks so much again. We'll see you when you're done. Yep. All right. There we go. Then, let's pull that up and out. 
Hey, so Patrick just got done doing the surgery on our ICCU unit. And uh, let's pick this thing up and take a look at it, Patrick. Let me, let me try this one. Oh. <laughs> this thing is at least 30 pounds. Yep. I know that by heart because I have picked up many of Roberta's suitcases and they weigh at least as much as this thing. <laughs> All right. So 30 pounds is a good guess. So what are these two for? What, what does this do on the... So on those the... are the inlet and outlet for the coolant for this and the motors. Okay. Because it, it'll go from the reservoir through a water, an electric water pump, and then it'll take some lines and it'll go in and out of other components and then in and out of this to other components. Okay. And we've got a couple electrical hookups here. Yep. So there you go. Here you got the 12 volt positive hookup. And then this one is the input for the high voltage. This one here is the electrical connection for all the other computers that it talks with. And then let's let's do this real quick, Pat. So this is the when the ICCU goes out. That's why 12 volt batteries die. Yes, because that will actually charge the 12 volt battery. OK, and so that that's a major issue. Yeah. Uh, and the so, other, go ahead. Well, you want to think of, of this as essentially as an alternator. OK. All right. That's what it does. It performs that service. Let's spin it the other way here. So on this side, you got the output for all the high voltage stuff that it goes to. And then this is just the 12 volt ground that goes to the chassis. OK. And uh, so that's the old that gets shipped back to, to Hyundai. And the real the real th reason we're doing this video is because when this goes out and does not work, it's the biggest problem we have with the Onyx 5s, 22, 23, and 24. Yep. Uh, and what happens when that goes out? You end up... You, you can drive it for a little while until the 12 volt battery dies and then you're not gonna go anywhere. And then you're not gonna have fun. And then on some of them, it just won't go anywhere, period. Right, and so Hyundai needed to get this thing changed for, for the later editions and we'll talk about that soon. But let's put this thing down and then Patrick's gonna put the new one in and we're gonna show you how he does that. And then we'll do some conclusions at the end of the video. All right, so anytime we have to warranty stuff out, Hyundai's process is we have to take a picture of the old part and the new part and some other stuff and send that essentially as proof that we replaced it. And a lot of other manufacturers have their own process, but they're very, very similar. All right, so anytime we have to warranty stuff out, Hyundai's process is we have to take a picture of the old part and the new part and some other stuff and send that essentially as proof that we replaced it. And a lot of other manufacturers have their own process, but they're very, very similar. So Patrick, real time, how long did that take you to finish the job now that you're, you've, you've done your magic? About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Uh, and of course, all this is under warranty, right? Yep. All the work is under warranty, so it's it's uh, it's not a problem. And the warranty goes out to 100,000 miles. Do you know if they've extended this thing beyond 100,000? 
Not as far as I'm aware okay. as of yet. I'll, I'll check I mean, with the shop they... so we get a definitive answer to that. Uh, see if they've extended, because a lot of times what happens, car companies will extend warranties on things they have are known problems. Yeah. So this is the big bugaboo that we have fixed in this car. However, we're gonna take in the next video, we're gonna take apart a 26, and we're gonna look at some of the differences in the 26 and how we've avoided some of those issues with that, because we've sold, we, we have had to sell at least 400 of 26s right now, or 25 26s right now. And uh, how many of those have come back for ICCUs? Maybe one. Yeah, and if it were a 24, 23, how many would he have done by now uh, in a year's time? Oh, in a year? Yeah. 20, 25 myself. I know some of the other guys have done it. Yeah, so, so maybe 30, 35 we would have done in the whole shop out of 400 cars that we sold. So, you know, it's a problem, but sometimes it's not as big a problem as people make it online. So we're going to be back in a few days here. We're going to get that second video done, and we'll see you real soon. I always have to thank Patrick for the great work that he does and uh, uh, helping me out making these videos and making these cars run better every day. So thanks a lot, Patrick. See you later. <laughs> That's a wrap. Now you want that.